Okay, let's move on to the third problem, uh, which I'm going to call as the coins problem. Here the input is a set of n coins and all of these n coins are identical. So all looks the same. And uh, the additional information given to you is there are only two types of coins within this set. The first type is called heavy and the second type is called light. All heavy coins are going to be of exactly the same weight and all light coins are going to be of exactly the same weight. The weight of any heavy coin is going to be strictly greater than the weight of a light coin. And our objective here is to separate these coins into two groups uh, such that all the heavy coins are on one side and all the light coins are on the other side. In other words, we want to kind of uncover the parity of these coins. As I told before, the challenge here is that everything looks the same. So the only way to figure out this parity is by comparing their weights. And what is given to us is a weighing balance and this is a traditional weighing balance which will not tell you what the actual weights are but we can compare two weights okay so it will tell you whether both sides are of the same weight or you know or which side is heavier or, or which side is lighter so this is a setup uh, and our objective here is to you know accomplish this task using the minimum number of weighings or the minimum number of comparisons all right, so let's have a look at a simple solution to this problem or a naive solution. What we can do is let's just pick one coin randomly, any coin, and let's call it as a reference coin. Then I'll just compare this coin with all the remaining n minus one coins. So n minus one comparisons I will do. N minus one comparisons. And let's assume that this set will contain at least one co heavy, heavy coin and, a, and at least one light coin. That means everything is not the same. Okay. Good. So I have done n minus one comparisons, and what I will do is all the coins which has the same weight as that of the reference coin, I'll put on one side along with the reference coin. And all the other coins I will put on the other side. Okay, so this is how I separate these coins. And I also need to say which side corresponds to the heavy coins and which side corresponding to the light coins. For that, it is enough to figure out the parity of the reference coin, uh, which I can say by this simple observation. If the reference coin was ever on the lighter side of the uh, weighing balance, during the previous comparison, then the reference coin is a light coin and everything on the same side is light. Similarly, if the reference coin was ever on the heavier side, then the entire coin along with the reference coin are heavy. Okay, so that's the algorithm and, uh, and it's pretty easy to see that this works. And the number of comparisons needed is n minus one. Okay, so we need to be more clever and we want to know if we can improve this bound. So instead of n minus one, can we do it in n minus two, n minus three, or even make it, let's say, n over two? That's the goal. So if you have not seen this problem before, uh, try this. And this is a pretty cute solution. I mean, it, it, it has a pretty cute solution. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to give out my solution and what I have is 3 over 4 n. I don't know if this is the best uh, possible solution, but yeah, so let's see how this works. One thing I want you to notice is, you see this number 3 over 4, so which is below 1, that means you are not even allowed to do one comparison per coin, right? The only way we can achieve this is by comparing coins in batches. And that's exactly what I'm going to do next. I'll compare coins in batches. 
Okay, so the overview of the algorithm is something like this. I will take coins in groups of four, right? Groups of four. Then somehow I will figure out their parity by just doing three comparisons. So that way I can achieve this bound. Okay. Take the set of first four coins, figure them out. Then take the next set, figure them out, etc., etc. All right, so let me show how I will handle a set of, a given set of four coins. And for the sake of illustration, let me say their weights are W1, W2, W3, and W4. Four coins with those weights. So what I will do first is take the first coins with weight W1 and W2. I'll put it on one side of the weighing balance and W3 and W4, I'll put it on the right side. And I'll just do the comparison. So I expect there are two possible outcomes. Either the balance will say both sides are unequal or it will say both sides are equal. Okay. If the balance says both sides are unequal, that means one side is going to be heavy and the other side is going to be light. And let me just assume that the left side is light, which means W1 plus W2 is going to be smaller than W3 plus W4. The case where the left side is heavier is just symmetric. Okay. So at least this much I know at this point. So what I'm going to do now, um, and at least this much I know, and one thing I can say at this point is, this side should have, this side should have at least one light coin. And this side should have at least one heavy coin. So try to convince yourself why this is true. Right? If this is not true, then then something will get messed up. Okay? The only way this inequality can happen is if is by having a light coin on this side and a heavy coin on the other side. So this much I know. What I'm going to do next is I will do two additional comparisons. Simply I will compare W1 and W2 and W3 versus W4. Okay, so I did two additional comparisons. And my claim is that this is enough in this case, like in the for the unequal case, this is enough to figure out the parity of these four coins. This is my claim. Let's see how it works. Suppose the first comparison is says unequal, then I understood what is light and what is heavy, easy case. Similarly, if the second comparison says uh, they are unequal, then I know that which one is light and which one is heavy. Right? So if both of these comparisons uh, say is unequal, then it is easy. Now suppose W1 and W2 are the same then I know that both must be light because from the previous step, from the outcome of the previous step, I understood that one of them must be light. Similarly, if W3 and W4 are the same, then I can infer that both of them must be heavy because of this condition. Okay, so overall this is an easy case. The total number of comparisons I need to perform is one comparison here, then two more comparisons, so in total, three. Right, so now we have the equal case. So once we have, once I have the equal case, what I will do is, I'll just take W1 and I will compare with W2. I can do, even do for that, but let's, let me just pick one set. Now again, there are two possible outcomes. One is they are unequal and Another is they are equal. If they are unequal, 
then I already got what is W1 and W2. I can forget about W1 and W2, I already got them. What I will do is, is an addition step, W3, I will compare with W4. If this also gives us unequal, then I am done with these two as well. If there is no way that W3 and W4 can be equal. Because W3 and W, sorry, W1 and W2 were unequal. Right? So W3 and W4 must be different. W3 and W4 cannot be the same. So I do one more comparison and I will also, I'll be, I'll be able to figure out the parity of W3 and W4. So in total, 3. So in total, 3. Uh, so move on to the last case that is equal, again equal. At this point, one thing I can be sure is they all are going to be the same. At this point, I know that W1, W2, W3 and W4, all of them are the same, I know. But what I don't know is whether they all are light or whether they all are heavy. So that I don't know. Uh, what I can do is, suppose from the previous steps, from the previous steps, suppose I know at least one coin, whose, uh, at, uh, suppose I know the parity of at least one coin from the previous step, what I will do is, I will keep that as a reference coin and I will take one of this coin and compare with it and I will figure out the parity of all four in just one additional comparison and I am done. Okay? Suppose I don't know the parity of any coin. What I will do is I will just wait. I will just wait. I will keep I will keep these four coins together. I will keep it aside. I have done only two comparisons until now. I have the freedom to one more comparison. So I will just wait. I will just keep these four coins. Right, and, and the moment I figure out the parity of at least one coin, I'm done. Just three comparisons. Okay, so always three comparisons per four coin, per four coin, so three over four n. So do you see any risk here? So one thing that can happen is we will never find the parity of any coin. That can happen, right? The only way that can happen is always we get into this condition. Always we get into this condition where four coins are of the same, same. right? So you have groups, the first group have, are of the same kind, second group are of the same kind, etc, etc, etc. So what I can do at that moment is just pick one coin from every group, just pick one coin from every group and use our first algorithm, right? The, the, the standard n minus 1 algorithm. Okay? And see why that works? You're going to have total n over 4 groups, n over 4 groups right and if all groups are getting into this this scenario we will do just two comparisons for every group so at this point we have many groups with all the same but we don't know what their parity is what we will do is we will pop up one uh, one coin from every group and use this standard simple algorithm which is going to cost you how much? The total number of coins minus 1. So in this case, the total number of coins is n over 4. So this will also give you 3n over 4. Okay? And lastly, if all coins are of the same type, right? All n coins are light or all n coins are heavy. 
we will never be able to figure out uh, whether they are light or heavy. We can definitely separate them in the proper way, but we will never be able to figure out their parity. So that's the solution. <laughs>